Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our old craft, where I am in the most sticky situation ever in my RL craft playing history. In the last episode, we discovered, and yes, I am currently playing with two render distance, we discovered a huge dragon, I suspect a stage 5 or 4, jumping out of the area over there and is now currently living in that area right over there behind, behind the hills and it's a problem because this is my base this is where I have all my materials and all, not only that my bed is up here if that gets destroyed and I die well it's basically game over and a hard reset so I am facing the biggest fight in my Haraldcraft history and I need every edge that I can possibly get. And not only that, it happened in late winter, which means I have temperature to fight as well. But I have a few plans, one of which is from my good friend Spirit, who has been quietly helping me uh, with some tips and tricks here and there. And he gave me an idea that I really, really do like. Now, in order for me to do that idea, I'm gonna need to grab some stone, because I'm going to be needing now before we get to that, I am going to be needing quite a bit of cobblestone in order to make some more campfires. I do have four, but I wouldn't mind having... A... Did I hear fire? Oh yeah, it's the dungeons on the ground. I wouldn't mind having a little bit extra to work with. This... yeah, this should be fine. Perfect. And I think I can literally just drop that pickaxe because it is... as it actually says. It's absolutely worthless. Now I do have a temperature adjustment lining in my chest plate, but it is not going to do the trick. So these campfires are going to be my only defense against, or my only defense. These campfires are going to be my only defense against this harsh weather. I'm also going to be needing a flint and steel so that I can turn on these campfires and having a pickaxe would not be a half bad idea. Uh, Quality broken. You know what? It's fine as long as it's not too bad. All right. I think I have everything that I need for this. However, oh, I already have a flint steel. <laughs> However, not quite because I need to be able to build and build I must do. So dirt, dirt is, oh, I have actually a lot of polished andesite. You know what? That is going to be literally perfect with some, yeah, I'm going to make some slabs real quick. Can I not make slabs with this? How do I make slabs? I, I can't make slabs. Okay, this is Minecraft 1.12. I... <laughs> Alright, wooden slabs this. I think I have everything that I need. Midday, I think we'll be alright. Now I'm going to head over to where I was fighting the... Or was looking at the dragon last time. Which was right over here. If I just increase my render distance a tiny bit to 8 should be fine. Make sure my crossbow is drawn. Not that really matters if the dragon sees me before I see it we are pretty much doomed anyway but this is the trip that I took in the last episode to get a good view because behind there do I have a water bucket I do have a water bucket that's just gonna make this a little bit easier there's this glowing sheep apparently that's lovely pick this up Let's go up here and I died due to the cold in the last episode. Right over here somewhere. Hello? <laughs> hmm. Just look at that. Oh, there it is. Hello. Okay. So, as you can see, that is the lake right there. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna run away because I need the dragon to stay there. Perfect, so... Oh, it's flying. It's actually flying. Okay, hopefully it's still in its place, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to head far in this direction, get onto the lake, in... Ugh. doesn't kill me before that happens. My plan is basically to get to the lake at the end of it, wait for night time, build a little bit of a hut, wait for night time, and then start attacking it and hope that it's not going to wake up and attack me. But that might be a bit of an issue. Hey wolf! I'm, I'm surprised you're still alive, buddy. Not gonna lie. Okay, so the dragon was definitely here. This is probably 
the area of which it popped out of the ground somehow, maybe? Somewhere along this, through these lines. This looks like it's going to be... Oh, that's icy cobblestone. If I can just find the lake. This is a huge cave area. Missing three tops though, so the dragon definitely came. Oh! Oh, this is where it came out. Okay. Right. Well, this is the lake. I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is the lake. And if I just very bravely do this for a second. Hello! That's two, but that is... That's two, that's one over there, but this one right there. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so I am going to go far over here. And I'm going to make a little bit... First of all, I'm going to set a campfire up right now. Um, I'm going to try and build a little bit of a hut that I can be in during night time. I need it to be night, and hopefully that is going to make the dragon sleep. And if I just make it secure enough, hopefully I won't be bothered by any other creatures that lurk during the night. I think this should be alright. I have a campfire, I'm going to place down more. Like that, I can place down actually that, because I shouldn't have placed that there, that is hideous. I'm gonna break that, and I'm gonna place two in the corners right there. And I'm going to definitely break this. Now the reason why I brought these slabs is so I can do this. And hopefully just shoot like this, and maybe I won't get seen, or something like that. Anyway, I should have brought a clock, but now I just need to wait for night time, honestly. <laughs> And hope that this plan works. Oh boy, I'm gonna also bring out my iron strengthened longbow. Yep. Um, maybe an escape route. I don't have any... Like, if, if I go down there, I can very easily drown, but... I mean... It's a way of getting out in case it comes over here and starts attacking. Maybe I can attack it from underwater or something. So that's my escape plan. I'm sticking to it, um, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Now I just need to wait, and I can fill up my water canteen easily. Okay, nice. I'm gonna wait, AFK here, until it gets dark, and I'll be right back. Quick update, I have placed down a third campfire, just to help with the cold. I don't know if it gets colder at night, I assume it does, but the sun is setting. Once it's nighttime and I can start seeing stars, I'm hearing everything around me, then... I will up my render distance and hopefully the dragon is going to stay there and go to bed. I'm still freezing. I'm next to this many campfires and I'm still freezing. I should have made the heating coil by the way. I was told with my blaze rod, which I 100% agree with, this is much more efficient than a campfire and it would have been blaze rods better spent, basically. Okay, I'm seeing the stars, but the sun is not quite down yet. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping these campfires are going to do the trick with the coal here, because otherwise it's not going to be good. Okay, it is getting much, much darker, especially looking over to the ground over there. I think it might be good enough to try this out. Here it goes. 10 render distance I'm going to do. That is, that's flying. Now go down. Yep, land. Perfect. It's shooting something. What happens if I... Oh, it went to... It just went to sleep. It just went to sleep, ladies and gentlemen. I think. I think that's it sleeping. Okay, I heard it. Now it's wandering. I hit it again. I'm gonna up my render distance to 16. I apologize if it gets a bit choppy. It's gone. It might just be out of my render distance. Oh. Oh, that is. That is. Please don't fly away. Ah, oh. Actually, oh, it's destroying stuff. It might be moving in this direction. It might be moving in this direction. Uh, I can't see it. Where? I don't have a visual. 
Oh, beautiful northern lights, but where's the dragon? I mean, I'm hearing two of them. Uh, this has not gone according to plan whatsoever, has it? Let's try and take a peek. That's one. Oh, hi. It's right above me. <laughs> Hello. Um. Okay, wait. Can I maybe... How it's not attacking me is... But shooting it like this is pretty much impossible. Okay, right. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, okay, it's up there now. That's the thing. Because it's a dragon from underground, it doesn't have any specific boundaries. Like Whoa! Hello! Okay. Okay, it got mad. It got mad, and this guy's not helping, but maybe I can attack it from below. You know what, it's, I just, I'm just gonna give it my all. Come at me. I mean, right now it's not fighting. I can easily hit it from down here. I'm freezing though, I am properly freezing down here. Really, really freezing, hypothermia. It's gonna do a number on me very quickly. But I'm gonna hit it with as many arrow shots as I can. It's flying away. So I might just try and go up and make a big of, bit of a roof here. Uh, yes, it's not much. <laughs> Place this as my final one though. I do have a bit of healing and also slabs. Definitely need to heal my head. But that was good. We did some good damage there. We did some really, really good damage. Okay, hypothermia is gone. And it's right up there. There's the other dragon as well, which is a threat, but I'm really hoping that it's not going to be too big of an issue. I can place that there. Perfect. The more heat that I can get, the better. I don't actually know if it has a diff has an effect, but why are you up here now? Where's your boundary? Can you guys fight, please, or something? Okay, I think it's going to line in for an attack. Oh, now I'm burning. That's not helping. I'm gonna save this for critical things like my head and my body. And live without the rest. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is working so far. It's actually working really well so far. It's staying in this area. I'm not getting attacked by everything else in in the night. So far, anyway. Oh, 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 that's, that's fire. That's fire. Burn, burning, burning. I'm fine, though. I think I'm fine. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. You really hate me. Okay. Oh, what? What the? What? What? Okay. Okay, I get it. <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Now, random distance. Non-existent. Okay. If I can get back, get my items. I, th I think we did a lot of damage there. Because I hit almost every single one of those shots. Um, warm liner. Can I use those? Can I wear these? Oh, dang it. Can I put it on anything? I can, actually. Probably not worth it, though. Um, right, I'm going to bring some iron armor. Just whatever I can I can get my hands on that's actually decent. Protector. Yep, that sounds good. I just need some sort of weapon. Something that I'm not going to be too mad if I lose it. Okay, I think I'm good. I have my sword. My ranged protected projectiles are all in the water there. So I think I'm actually going to sleep because the dragon is not sleeping anyway. The night part of the plan 
isn't working anyway. So here goes, I suppose. Um, regeneration, late winter. All right, so I know it's in this direction. I just need... You're, dang you're, you're dangerous. I just need to... Uh, yeah, you, you stay there. <laughs> I just need to get to my stuff. Running through this icy biome is not ideal or my idea of fun. All right, the lake is going to be down here. Yep, yeah, I hit. Okay. I'm going to keep trying because I need my stuff. And I did a lot of damage to it. Obviously, I need my stuff, but... I I do have another crossbow, but I don't have any other... I should have left some of the projectiles at home. That way, I could have get, gotten a crossbow and started attacking it from this direction, maybe. I, I'm going to keep saying it, though. We did some really, really good progress there. With actually in that shelter. Okay, we're at the same spot again. Yep, dragon hates me. I have a helmet now. I got further. <laughs> I got further. Right, taking a bit of a different path here. Directly onto the river. Not going directly through the dragon. So I saw that from my shelter. So my stuff should be right over here. Yep, right here on the ground. Here's my stuff. Beautiful. I just need to grab it all. As much as possible. Bolts, yep, most important thing. Now if I start drowning, then that's really bad. What's that? There we go. Okay. Okay. Get yeah. drop the snowballs already. <laughs> okay. Stuff is actually back. Stuff is actually back. I think I have most of my stuff as well. And the dragon's going to be over there in some unloaded... Ow! Ow! Chunks. Get in. Ow. Now I'm burning to death. That's lovely. Right. Uh, I'm missing some bolts. I'm actually missing some of my bolts. I need to get those back down. Ooh, and my boots as well. Yes. Sleeping bag. Yes. Oh, and my bow. Yes. Water bucket. Why does things spread so much <laughs> when when you die? I mean, I suppose... It may oh, did it go down here? Or maybe I just used that many bolts. Didn't feel like it, though. My assumption is how one of my stacks of bolts actually went down that drain, so... I'm not gonna... Okay, hypothermia. I'm not gonna go down there to get it. Can we get in here? Get some warmth. Uh, and then we try this again. I know where the dragon is. Just gotta keep at it. If this was in a warm biome, being in the water would make it a lot easier. Maybe I can draw its attention to the water or something. Okay. Upping the render distance to 16. That is... Hello. Here we go again. Oh, but the other dragon is right there. It's attacking. Mm. That makes it very difficult. <laughs> I'm fighting two dragons at the same time. That is not ideal. Okay, got... The most of my stuff back, actually, I think I got... Yeah, I think I got everything, so that's good. I have a different idea. I know the dragon is up there, the dragon we're interested in. And the other dragon is in this direction. I go around here and start attacking it over there, maybe leading it towards the water. Ugh. I think that might be a better course of action. Now, while that will bring it closer to my home... I think I think we'll be all right as long as it's away from the home. <laughs> oh no, that's where the dragon is and it's going to kill me. Thankfully, with my balloon, this is quite easy. There we go. But yes, if I'm over closer to home, I can maybe redirect it towards the water in a warmer area like the ocean, where if I am fighting it, it's going to be a lot easier. All right, we're in a warmer biome now. 
I'm just gonna do it. Video settings, render distance to 16, absolute max. Let's find out where this beast is. That's not a dragon, so we're good. Okay, the dragon is not here. Not in sight anyway. So I'm gonna move closer. That is come towards me. Can't believe I'm saying this, but get over here. <laughs> get over here. You see, it was much easier hitting it when it was below ground. I mean, I'll take this as well. As long as it's, like, shootable. Like this. I'll take it. If I could actually aim. Okay, there we go. Gonna have to cross this right underneath it, kinda. Like this. Di no way. No, no, no way. Did I just get it? Did I actually just get it? Just like that. It must have been damaged by maybe the other dragon or something. I don't, I don't actually believe it. I really hope that's actually the dragon that was down there. <laughs> I guess that's only, that, that's only one way to find out. I mean, I'm cold. Maybe I'm just gonna. Uh, the sun is going down, but I have my sleeping bag. I should be fine. Okay, render distance to eight, just so the other dragon does not inter interfere. Uh, I. Oh no, I lost my dragon water bottle. It has to be back at the shelter. I must be able to get it. Uh, right. Th I'm speechless. I did not expect it to go down that. that quick. I mean, we'll find out if it says stage 4 or 5 on the skull. When we do get the skull. We got down, like, right... Right here somewhere. Yeah, this has definitely been... I mean, it has to be it. Where is it? There it is. Look at that. I can't believe it. Something else must have damaged it. No way I did all that damage. No way whatsoever. The other dragon is right over there, so I'm gonna lower it again. <laughs> to four. It's very short. But I mean, yeah, look at that. That's definitely... Oh no, hypothermia. Definitely a stage five. Ow! I didn't touch it! Come on now! Yeah, I did, I, that's, a, that's definitely a stage five or four. Right, can I make a little bit of a platform? Place my sleeping bag. Sleep, and I guess we'll know for sure once I get over there. I'm just cold, that's all. I can't see if, where can I actually get to it? Yeah, this, <laughs> this is ginormous. I don't actually know where the drop, that is. That is. <gasps> it was. We have a we have a dragon egg, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. There's bones up there. I want the bones. I want the bones. I I need to climb. Um, how do I climb this? <laughs> I can't. That stage four. That was a stage four dragon. We defeated a stage four dragon, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it. That was honestly way easier than I thought it was going to be. Wow. And we have we have a dragon egg. Which I'm going to talk more about in a moment, once I actually get all the stuff. Yep, that is. Pick that up. Bones, more dragon scales. This right here is where the dragon came out of the ground, as we determined earlier. We're gonna go down there at some point, but for right now, I'm slowly dying of hypothermia, and I really, really want to see if I can get my water bottle. Yes! Dragon Canteen. Good. Heading back home. Heading back home. I've had enough of dragons for now. Whoa, what's that? Don't know. <laughs> Let's head home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head home. We'll be back for that later. And we're back home. Home, sweet home. Away from the cold. That's our horse. Wow, oh wow. We have a dragon egg. A sapphire dragon egg. Right, so, 
Here's the thing, since we now have a dragon egg, we can obviously hatch this and get our own dragon. My question is, if I remember correctly, you can fly a dragon without a saddle. So is that a thing in our old craft or have, have they changed that in our old craft? I don't know. So this could be very interesting. <laughs> But wow, that, even if not, then that's, I mean, do we have a dragon saddle? A dual saddle with special enchantments woven within each precious worthy of mighty dragon, dragon saddle. So I guess this is what, this is what we need, I suppose. So this is an avian saddle, it's built especially for flight and glide adapted creatures from Lucky Knight's mobs, and then we have this. So dragon scales, chain links, a normal saddle, which we have, and a troll tusk. So if we can get just a troll tusk from ice and fire, actually, then we're, we can we can fly a dragon. I'm gonna keep the egg in here. We'll hatch it eventually. But that, I'm so so happy. <laughs> Mission successful. We defended our home successfully. That is amazing. Ah. I can turn my shaders back on because I'm not dealing with a huge, uh, huge threat. That's lovely. Right, so we now have direct access actually to that dragon's lair. However, I'm pretty sure that area is extremely dangerous. So, might have to be cautious going down there. But we can if we so desire. And I think... I'm going to take these and I think we're going to... It's going to be very, very cold down there, though. I'm gonna need some more campfires, I think. So I need to gather some some wood. Was was a worthless axe? No, I rusted. I, uh, I I need better equipment here. Also going to take my shears so I can shear my sheep. Actually, I'm gonna take. Ooh, you can heal 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 me up, right? Yep. Very, very good. Right, yeah, I'm gonna shear the sheep so I can get some more bandages. And I'm also going to breed them so I can have more sheep, because that would be very nice. Hey, sheep. Hello. I know it is winter and all, but I think you'll be probably alright. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. I do need the healing. And close those up. Get the XP. Oh, we have 14 levels now. We have 14 levels. What can we... Better questing. Oh yeah, all the all the questing things. Like nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Skills, uh, defense, attack. I do want to get that up because using diamond equipment or diamond weapons would definitely be very nice. And I think I need more chickens in there. They have been dying. I don't know from what. I think maybe they're small and then they grow up in the corners, maybe, and then then they. I I don't know. I also do need to remember that in the last episode, as soon as we get indoors here and I put... Yeah, you can have some. <laughs> if we go over here, in the last... In the last episode, I think? Yeah, in the last episode, there was another dragon over here, but there was also a battle tower and other things like that. So that is on the to-do list as well down the road. But right now, gonna get more healing. And... Yes, campfires. <laughs> I had to remember what I was gonna do. Timber. I said it way too early, but it, it's fine. It, it, it's definitely, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oak wood. I would really love it to become summer, and I would really love to have that cave not be in the winter. That would also help quite a bit. Are these acorns? I'm pretty sure I can just place them, and we'll have new trees growing. That's really cool. I mean, right here in this area of the world, I'm actually, my, my temperature is actually not too bad. It's in fact, it's going up. As soon as I enter the the cold area, it's going, well, bad. And yes, I know, I will do inventory management at some point. I didn't pick up my, um, my sleeping bag. Do I have leftover wool? I actually don't. Oh dear. Well, I have my bed, but... I want to be... Okay, you know what? I have a solution. I want cobblestone, but I also want to be close to my house, so... This works, I suppose. 
in in the future, putting my animals down in a in a safe area like this is definitely something that I want to do because if we have other world events, having them underground in a bunker is going to be much better than up here on the ground. Three campfires, hopefully that is going to do the job. All right, the sun is rising and uh, with that we are going to head towards the dragon cave. Uh, I didn't actually see what time of year it is. It might still be winter. I'm assuming it's still gonna be, w yep, late winter. Might be the last winter day. I don't actually know how many days are in each season. However, I do know that I was going to say, I want the knowledge of that rock or whatever it's called, but it looks like it just dropped a creeper. <laughs> that's um, that's not really something I want. I, I guess I can get the knowledge of you, maybe. Yep, th there we go. Don't know what I'll use that for, but I have it now, and I'm slowly getting hypothermia again. I am turning back because I brought campfires, but I didn't bring a uh, flint and steel to light them. Which is uh, a bit of a problem. Re-equipped with the necessary tools, we're heading off yet again. Now I am a bit scared because I've been to those places before, just not in our old craft. But I know how dark it's going to be down there in the dragon's den. Or I don't actually remember what it's called, but I'm going to call it the den. I know how dark it is down there, which means we're going to have quite a lot of bad guys. So I'm already equipping my shield here. To prepare for the worst because it it can get quite bad, but we'll have to see. So that's the other dragon over there, and I think it's actually targeting me. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Step back, step step back, step back, step back, step back. I've dealt with enough dragon reef today. I don't want to deal with another one. I just want to get what's rightfully mine. <laughs> yeah, going down here. Ow. Um, it opened up some sort of cavern, which is not cool. So I'm just going to get some rocks. In fact, getting quite a few so we can maybe pillar up and things like that is going to be a good idea. Also leaving torches so we can see our way out is going to be really good as well. There we go. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave torches here. There's cool stuff in, like, around here. Oh, wow. I, by the way, I don't know how deep this is going. I don't know how deep this is going to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Know how safe this is going. Oh, I see it though. That is. I have my water bucket, so we can swim down, so that's good. I'll grab some sapphire. Yeah. I think we can increase the render distance to maybe five. Have it to short plus. We have diamonds down here, and I'm glad I took my lockpicks with me. Uh, so we have another. It looks like we have a cave thing over here. And, okay, actually, it's not too bad with bad guys. That's actually not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. I just realized I don't have my sleeping bag, so I can't sleep through the night. Which is not good. Uh, okay, that could be a problem. That could be a problem if things spawn and decide to go in our direction. I'm just going to do that. I think we'll be safer. <laughs> Maybe. And also light this up, of course. Everything needs to be lit up, just so we are not taking any chances. That lava needs to be gone as well. Oh, there's a skeleton there. Multiple, actually. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Block this off. It has to happen. It has to happen. We're just making sure that we're safe. And surprisingly, I don't have hypothermia. In fact, I'm okay warm. I am surprised. Okay, I'm not going to do ores right now. Okay. That's lapis. Ooh. Okay, yep. Yeah, this needs 
definitely needs blocking off. But there's a lot of good stuff here. So definitely want to come back for all these ores. But right now I want to focus on the dragon loot and the dragon den. So I think just doing this will be fine. Now the lava will need to be dealt with. Uh, I should be able to just jump down there, but... Oh, okay. It's just the reflections. Just reflections, everyone. Just reflections. Might be the... The lava heating this place up, though. So, if I get rid of it, I could be in some trouble. Yep, that needs to be blocked off. But, the mobs that can spawn from this are... A greater threat. <laughs> So here we are. I think this is good. I think we're all right. There's only two creepers here. I expected there to be all sorts of Lycanite's mobs down here. But actually, I think we're quite safe. There's a lot of chests, a lot of loot. This is amazing. <laughs> this is really, really good. And all the ores as well. Wow. I mean, we had no idea that this was here until that dragon surfaced and was like hello here i am <laughs> fight me wow all right well i guess it's time to to loot i'm going to place things so that my inventory is i hear things under me and i don't like it there we go so whenever i loot a chest i'm going to break it so that i know what i have taken and what i haven't all the silver i'll want it as well I mean, all the diamonds as well. Gotta get that. Don't know how much of the armor I'll take. Honestly, I'll try and probably take all of it. Because it's not too bad to have in emergency scenarios. I don't have any more torches, which is kind of bad. So I don't want to be in... Ooh, diamonds. Yes, please. But yeah, I don't want to be in these dark areas for too long due to... Oh yeah, I can just break them. I would like to see what's in there. <laughs> we have coal in here. Oh, we do actually. But do we have wood? I don't have wood for the coal. That makes that a little bit more difficult. <laughs> okay, that is locked. I mean, so far so good. I will not complain. This is a pretty good hole. I mean, I won't be able to even carry all of this silver back home. I need to... Take a couple of trips. So far it's mostly been bones, manuscripts, books, sapphire, iron. Whoa! Hello! Hello! Nope, 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 nope. Hello. Hello. You came out of nowhere, didn't you? You really did come out of nowhere. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I made some more healings, because, uh... Hmm. Still, I'm surprised I don't have hypothermia. I am really, really surprised. I mean, I'll take his belongings. Okay, that... I mean, can all the locks be like this? And then escape? Yep, just like that, and... Take the chest. Don't think I'm gonna... Oh, that's a wooden lock, right. Don't think I'm gonna bring the locks. Don't really have a use for them. Uh... One, nope, okay, number two. I hear more things. That one. Two, five. Two, five, three. That one and that one. Perfect. I was kind of hoping to have these chests with the locks contain a little bit more than just... Oh, you can spawn. That's right. Your destructive actions of the elements is drawing chaotic energy. Yeah, I don't want to, but... Uh. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, dear me. Uh. Oh, come on. W seriously? Okay, fine. Bruh. One, uh, okay. Four, five. Four, five, two. Got it. Better be worth it. Uh, fine. I, I guess it's worth it. Okay. Whoa! 
I don't even know what you are. I don't even know what you are. Oh, you're drawing me in. Please don't make me die now. That would be quite horrible. You're gonna make me die. Yeah, I'm dead. I say I'm I think I'm yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? What even was that? I had no chance. I had no chance whatsoever. Oh man, okay, well it's a problem if it's still there, but Ah I don't have a spare bow. I'll bring my iron pike. Uh still late winter. I should be alright going over there, down, my items will just be scattered on the floor, which is lovely. I mean, I could start bringing a bed that I sleep in before I enter places, so I spawn right next to the place, but that's dangerous in case the bed gets exploded, because then I won't be able to uh, respawn, like, at all, so <laughs> that's why I don't do that. I should have shot it when I first saw the thing, not worrying about the chaotic energy. Maybe that thing was the chaotic energy. It did seem chaotic and it did seem energy e. So, oh, you're still here. Oh no, that's a you. That's you. That's you. I hate you. I hate you a lot. Please go away. <sighs> you're still here, aren't you? Yeah. But you're dead. You're dead. Take that. You very annoying creature. Okay, I think I'm good, I think we're good, we're not good, we're not good, we're fine. <laughs> this is a lot of mixed emotions right now. Okay, place this here, place this here, run and jump. Okay, what? No, you gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Okay. Get, get my stuff. Just get my stuff and get out. Get my stuff and get out. We've had our victory. Just get. make sure I get it all. All the diamonds. All the things. Give it all. Give me all. Yep. Bring, bring it here. I think that is everything. Uh, ooh. Ooh, hot crystal. Oh, that's good. I should probably also heal at a place that's semi-safe. Oh dear me. Well, it was inevitable, I suppose. <laughs> I should have brought more torches. That might have helped the situation. Still have the... still have my bow. Yeah, I think... I think I have everything. I think I just... gotta head home now. I will... oh! No, I don't have everything. Oh yeah, missing the iron would have been bad. Uh, do I have the diamonds? I'm gonna break these. Definitely bring these. Because, well, they're diamonds. Don't want to miss out on that. Alright, time to get home. Uh, gold lock? Can't, don't, don't care for it. Uh, you know what, it's broken anyway. Time to go home. <laughs> ASAP. I do have some bad news though. It's uh, night time outside. Which... What? What? On Earth? What was that? Or is it just my... No, it, ha it has to be... It has to be day. Okay, yeah, it's just my shaders and probably render this. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that was. Y you guys heard that, right? If you didn't hear that, then you have no idea what is going on. But I don't think I have anything on my desktop that says that makes that sound. <laughs> Alright, mission successful, ladies and gentlemen. We got the loot. Uh, still need to get the silver, of course, the silver coins, all the ores in the area. That's redstone and everything. Gold, which is good, but we can come back from that any at any point. So, overall, not bad of a haul at all. <laughs> that, that rhymed. So I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call this an episode and a very successful one at that. Hopefully we'll be out of winter in the next episode. I'm gonna spend some time cleaning up all this stuff because uh, currently it is a mess and potentially, potentially cleaning up <laughs> my inventory and getting things sorted. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss the next episode. 
and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and I'll get back here. I need regen. <laughs> and until next time, goodbye.